Hello everyone, today we're going to be checking out the top 5 saddest moments in Dragon Ball Z. Honestly, I'm actually excited for this video. I mean, it's going to be pretty sad because I'm going to be showing some sad scenes in Dragon Ball Z. People may even come back from time to time just to cry, you know, if they're feeling a bit emotional, you know what I'm saying? Actually, probably not because I'm going to be talking in it. But yeah, I think it'll be a good idea actually to make a separate video, like in one, like in the one where I reacted to, where they just don't talk and just go through all the scenes one by one and cut them. In this one though, I'm probably just going to talk, because I mean, it doesn't really make sense to do both, like in one video, so I might make two separate videos for that, and then that one will be actually sad. So anyway guys, yeah, I have assembled this list of the top five saddest moments in Dragon Ball Z. Um, let me know if you guys think that it's accurate. I believe it is, based on what I've seen, and these are objective, because they are renowned for being sad. But then again, they are kind of subjective, because what might have touched me a lot... <laughs> Hang on, no, not literally. But what I might have found to be really sad might be different for someone else, obviously. But yeah. So I was actually going to put these in no particular order. But now when thinking about it, I am going to put them in like from saddest to least sad. Because it just makes more sense, you know, like why not? But anyway, let's just stop waffling now and get into it. So coming in at number one, we have Vegeta's plea. I like how it looks like I've just copied the video that we reacted to because they put that as number one as well. But honestly, guys, I haven't. As I said in the other video, this scene was really emotional for me. And so yes, in terms of which order I'm putting these in, it is definitely subjective. Because as I said before, I think I was like, I watched this as a little kid and I was like six or seven years old. And I was crying, honestly. I was like, just damn, this is sad. And honestly, I, f I was like, damn, Frieza, you piece of crap. It also just shows you, like, the character of Vegeta and how he is who he is because of Frieza. Like, it was already a bit bad, but Frieza, like, made him even, like, worse. And it was really sad as well when he said the line. Like, he said, he made me what I am. He made me what I am. It was quite dramatic, but it was honestly sad, though. Because, like, he's supposed to be some tough guy, but then he was literally on his deathbed begging Goku to finish Frieza and show no mercy. So, yeah, this is definitely just, it has to be number one for me. Now, number two, we have future Gohan's death. Guys, this was really bloody melancholy. melancholy. Um, yeah, guys, honestly, when you look at this, like, when you look at this timeline, you see how depressing it is. You see how Trunks had no one his age, no one to talk to, to train with, and the only person he hangs out with just dies. It's just too sad to be true. What makes it even sadder, well, is a sick soundtrack, but also the fact that Gohan died a warrior with one arm, fighting off two androids who were overpowering because, like, he wasn't able to train and get stronger. And honestly, all of this just adds on to his legacy. Like, he knocked out Trunks for his own good to save him so he doesn't die as well. And um, and he also took on the burden of fighting the androids alone. Quite similar to Vegeta's sacrifice, actually. Which is why next on the list is Vegeta's sacrifice. Now, I know you guys are probably thinking, what the hell, man? You're putting future Gohan's death above Vegeta's? Yes. Yes, I am, actually. Now, hear me out. I honestly just believe that Gohan's death was just sadder than Vegeta's. Like, the reason for that is with Vegeta's sacrifice, it was more meaningful because it was part of, like, it was part of the main timeline. And so it was a mix of emotions, if that makes sense. Like, it wasn't just sad, it was badass, consequential, like, empathetic, mind-blowing. And there was also a big build-up for it as well, which made it even more, like, impactful. Now, in contrast to this, with Gohan's sacrifice, it was just sad, really. That was it, you know what I mean? It, was, <laughs> it wasn't the same, especially because it was, like, it was part of Trunks' harsh timeline. It was just sorrowful, that was it. Now for the penultimate sad moment, we have Piccolo sacrificing himself to save Gohan. Damn, there are a lot of sacrifices on here. I've just realised how many are on here. Now this moment was really sad, honestly. Uh, to be honest, I think this one should even take third place. But then again, I don't know, it's a tough one. This moment is just key though, because it shows like the relationship that Piccolo and Gohan have. Because Piccolo literally trained Gohan when he was a little kid. And he literally, like, Gohan grew up with Piccolo. As well, he was he was crying on his deathbed with those little green tears. Oh, damn, so sad. And when he said to Gohan, like, he's the son that he never had. Oh my god, broke my heart, honestly. Like, it really showed how he had a deep connection with his kid. And how he's, like, looked out for him. And how he could envision himself being his dad. Wow. Okay, so guys... I managed to develop a kind of cold, you know, a bit of a cold, okay, when making this video. But uh, it's not okay, guys, don't worry about it, okay? Regardless, we're gonna carry on because we've only got one more left, so, uh, yeah, just, just don't, pay, don't pay too much attention. Now, lastly, and I was actually stuck between two moments, um, but in the end, I went with this one. God, my voice sounds so. Okay, anyway. I went with this one, and it is TN's sacrifice. So, yes, that means every single moment on this list is a sacrifice other than the first one, which means that Dragon Ball Z sacrifices are honestly just. Very sad. And Tien's sacrifice on this moment is honestly a moment that is so underrated. Like, this is truly, truly underrated. Like, Piccolo's moment was sad, don't get me wrong, but it's not underrated. Whereas this moment, like, no one talks about it. And the reason why it was really sad is because it falls under Chaozu's sacrifice, which also was sad. However, Tien's was more sad because then, with Tien's, it showed, like, the sort of the background and the past that uh, Chaozu um, and Tien had, like, the bond they had. And it puts a really sad uh, tune on as well really sad. In fact, that is one of the themes of one of the soundtracks that I managed to track down easily. TN's death theme is a pretty good one. So yeah, as I said, this moment is definitely underrated. I mean, I still put it last though, but 
regardless, it is still underrated. Let me know what you think. Uh, as I said, I will be uploading the five saddest moments as a separate video, which will be copyrighted, obviously, but um, yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do about that. Um, but yeah, guys, you can go and check that out anyway. I'll see you all later.